Uh, we're just passing uh, where Durian Bay is, like the turn off to Durian Bay and Cervantes. Getting my legs a little bit of a stretch and Milo just went toilet. There's the van and the car, looking good, there's mum and dad's. And yeah, another, I think about four hours to go. Uh, and then I think pasta is on the menu for tonight. I'm going to be cooking some pasta and hopefully tomorrow the weather's uh, pretty good, no wind and we're going to take the tinny out and try to smash some big fish. Be good. But yeah, anyways, better get back driving so we can get to our destination quicker and I'll see you guys uh, when we get there. Good morning guys, 
Just making myself some brekkie, just got some soy milk and I chuck some wheat mix in there. Nutribullet makes it super easy. Um, not too sure if we're going to take the tinny out today. I was hoping to, but it is a little bit on the windy side. So I've got a, another idea, which is pretty fun. Uh, I've got one of those stand-up paddle boards, the King's ones. So I'm going to bring it down to the beach, pump it up, go for my first paddle board because I've actually never tried it. I'll try to get Milo to stand on it as well. So we'll see how that goes, but yeah, should be fun. So yeah, I'm gonna finish off Bracky and then get the pump out, get everything ready and then head down. See you guys down there. All right, on the way to the beach. That's the campsite right there, as you can see behind. That Merchantson's Caravan Park. Highly recommend good caravan park. And that's the... Murchison's or start of Murchison's River right there, which is pretty cool. Check out how excited Milo gets on the beach. He's not doing it now, but he usually like jumps like a kangaroo, literally just jumps and jumps and jumps. We're gonna jump today. Hey. Alright, uh, let's get this set up and get it in the water. Let's go. Wait. Uh, just missed it, here's jumping. Ended up having to pack it in, even though it was real fun. Because um got too windy and it just kept pushing the paddleboard to shore, so yeah, it couldn't paddle out and it was pretty much pointless. But I had my 15 minutes, 20 minutes or so of fun, which is good. Now just going back to camp and um Just going to prep dinner we're just down at the shops a uh, little tip for you guys i just want to show you guys a little tip when you're traveling on the road and you're trying to budget like i am uh go show you something so this chicken here this whole chicken was eight dollars and 42 cents and there was two chicken uh breasts that were 11 bucks so yeah it pays to sort of have a look around because you're gonna get two chicken breasts out of that plus the thighs and plus like the bones sort of with a bit of meat still on them and ribs if you want to do like a soup or something um same as the beef rump steak that was 27 bucks um and just slice them a bit thinner and you pretty much yeah you get a few meals out of that so yeah just pays to budget a bit because that bit that you save can go towards fuel or insurance or whatever. So yeah, just a little tip. All right, so Dad's gonna give you a quick demo on how to cut everything up and whatnot. So yeah, we'll pass you over to him and show you.
three chicken breasts. Eight dollar chicken instead of eleven dollars for two chicken breasts. There you have it. Budget. Alright guys, now's the rump steak, like I was telling you, is a $27 one slab. And we're gonna cut it in half so you get two mils out of it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven slices of rump out of the two slabs. There you go, that's enough for like heaps, yeah, a few meals, <laughs> not just two, but yeah, there you go, so you got heaps of chicken and heaps of uh, rump steak, and that's just out of the full chicken, which was, what was it, like seven, eight bucks? Uh, eight, eight dollars, yeah. Yeah, uh, compared to two chicken breasts that were 11 bucks, and then the rump steak, which, uh, which you got slabs. one. One or uh, two slabs out of, $27. out of 27 bucks, and you got 11 pieces out of it when you cut it like that. So it's pretty good. Uh, you've seen what we've cut up and whatnot. So the chicken is going to be for tomorrow night. We're doing a chicken pasta, and tonight we're doing the rump steak uh, on a barbecue. Oil. So marinate we're just going to marinate it in here with a bottle of oil, some garlic, oh, yep. onion. Yeah, garlic, onion, maybe even a bit of wine. Yep. Wait till you see where the barbecue is. It's like the best spot. Very good views. Alright, so now obviously we're marinating it, like we said. So we got the steak in there, we got some garlic we're gonna chuck in there, we got some salt and pepper, which we're gonna put in there, and then flip them and do the same. And then we got some onion, which is gonna be going on the barbecue uh, separate. So yeah. Um, so dad's gonna get that ready. I'm just gonna go get some freezer bags, the rest of the um, meat, and then I'll see you guys back at the barbecue. One more thing before I see you guys at the barbecue. Um, the chicken breasts we've got here, so that's a pretty like fat breast. So what you can do is you can actually cut them in half. Um, so you get two breasts out of the one, it just means that you can't cook it as long because obviously you'll burn it. Uh, dry it out. Yeah, it's so, dry out, so you just do the same again. Yeah, so hold it. Yeah, we'll go Early. cut both of them. So we end up with like four four breasts all up. That over there, that's all ready for the barbecue. Check out this view. What do you reckon, Milo? It's good. It's good. Gotta have a nice cold shelter and enjoy this.
all done and dusted. Already, look at that. Yeah. Alright, now it's just time to dig in. <laughs> Not much has been going on today because it is a bit windy so obviously can't take the tinny out and whatnot. So up the road, uh, just out of town, there's like an off-road track and there's a few rocks and whatnot. And on the beach there's like a lot of oyster shells. So I'm going to go and try to look for some oysters and hopefully I can find some. If not, then not. But then yeah, hopefully tomorrow's better weather, be able to take the tinny out. Uh, this is it here guys, start of the off-road track and then it pretty much goes down curves a bit and then you end up at like um like the foreshore and it's got all these rocks so yeah hopefully fingers crossed there is oysters because i'd really love to have uh, oysters just pulled up the water's a bit murky because it's a bit stirred up because of the wind and I think the currents rushing in um, but yeah it's very muddy along these rocks I had a quick look just before over around here and my yeah my luck's not looking too good but we'll keep walking we'll leave the car here just lock it up and we'll keep walking and we'll see if we can find some like surely there's got to be some somewhere because yeah there's quite a few shells washed up on the beach so yeah we'll go have a look see what we can find also another thing out here because there's a lot of like dangerous things out here obviously that you can snap on or not um for example like stonefish guys I haven't had any luck whatsoever so I'm gonna pack up and I'm gonna head over towards um, like the mouth because this is sort of like Murchison's River sort of like the inlet so yeah not much luck so I'm gonna punch out just around where the mouth of the river goes to the ocean and hopefully fingers crossed we can go find some oysters there I uh, just parked up with the car here. I'm gonna head down to these rocks and see if we can't find ourselves an oyster. Sorry for the wind guys, but check that out. Wonder if any fish are trapped in there. I'm gonna go have a sus. Fresh 
Oyster. Gonna go get a few more and then pretty much head back to camp and um, yeah, I might find a little recipe for them and yeah, have some for dinner. Beauty. Let's go. Good morning, guys. Uh, still in Kalbarri. We're leaving tomorrow. Um, it's still very, very choppy out there in the inlet. It's all right, but there's probably no point in putting a tin in the inlet because we're leaving tomorrow. Um, so we're going for a bit of an explore. There's a place called uh, where is it? Castle Rock, and it's like a massive sand dune overlooking like yeah, like the horizon. So. I reckon that's going to be pretty cool to go see, so yeah, packed up and we're going to head there now and I'll even get the new drone up in the air because I haven't actually got that up in the air yet, so that'll be pretty cool to do and then yeah, hopefully tomorrow when we leave and head further north, we're going about five hours, it'll be like near Denham and Shark Bay ways. So yeah, hopefully the weather, sort of the wind dies off because it has died off a little bit today. Obviously the ocean's still, yeah, pretty choppy, but yeah, we'll see see what happens. But yeah, for now we'll do a bit of exploring. And it seems to be a full drive track as well, so that should be fun. Take you guys with me and see what we can find. <laughs> They don't look too big either, so they're probably young. How good does the GQ look? So proud of that car. Whoops, took the wrong turn, got the tight loss there. And would you believe it, the first time I went to try the drone out, when all three batteries are dead. I don't know if they're meant to be dead from factory, but yeah, they were dead. So I've got them here charging. That is where we're meant to be going. Says we are still about uh, two minutes away. So I reckon that's that's the place we're meant to be going. So let's keep following the track and see if it is. What an awesome place. Literally sorry, it's a bit windy. But I literally led to this and you can keep going and that's pretty much the river that's people kayaking down uh, back over there and the tide's actually like going out of here and it makes me wonder if there's actually mud crabs here because I can see holes on the other side of the bank and they look exactly like mud crab holes. I'll see if I can find another one. Bloopers. Like, look at this mud. Look at this. Like oh, that just sinks. Jeez. Gonna get my car dirty. DJI, I think the Maverick, like the best one you can get. So I forked out a bit. I want to get some good content for you guys. So yeah, let us know what you think and we'll get it up now.
is that? Those views were like spectacular. Anyways guys, I'm gonna be heading back to the caravan park now just to show you guys around the park because by far it's like the best caravan park I've stayed at at Cowberry. Like the facilities are nice, it's neat, and the spots we got especially, like the ocean views and inlet views are just like amazing. So we're gonna head back now. I'm gonna give you a little walk through and walk around the park and sh show you guys. Um, and yeah, let, let us know in the comments what you think. Uh, let me know on Instagram if you've been there before. And yeah. we're at merchants and caravan park uh, that's pretty much the front view of the whole park as i was talking about there's the entrance they've got another entrance further down that's the front office and then we've got the two bays right there which are real easy access to drive in even with a bigger van because you can do like a loop and then just drive straight through so that's mine there that's my dad's and you can drive up this way straight around and then as you come up you can pretty much just drive straight like up here and then like line it up mine you can't do that but mine was easy enough to get in there for a smaller van which is pretty cool uh, these are all that's a chemical dumping point these are all like the bathroom and toilets you got your shower toilet basin and whatnot all the doors um, you're told to keep them open like most places so they're always cleaned uh, they're really well upkept as well got a few seated areas I've got for like hanging your clothes and whatnot I've got a seated area over there and then I've also got like the laundromat over in the other place so you got your dryers and washing machines there as well so yeah guys that's pretty much it um, it like loops around all down there you got front bays over there you got some of the back bays so yeah very 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 nice caravan park and it's very well up kept and also the staff are very kind and nice which is good so thumbs up from me all right guys that's it for this episode i hope you guys really enjoyed it this is like pretty much my first one on the road so yeah um tomorrow we're going to be packing up first thing in the morning and heading five hours north not exactly sure where we're going yet but i know it's going to be around shark bay and denham so that's what i'm going to be doing now i'm going to be doing a bit of editing and also sussing out where we're going to be staying and more than likely it's going to be a free camp so yeah keen to see that but yeah for now that's the end of this episode hope you guys enjoy it make sure you tell your friends family anyone that you would recommend me to to subscribe every bit helps and yeah cheers for the support as well cheers guys